face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up guys, and of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with just records the under. And today we're going to go up against just me well, who is well, one of my longtime friends, clearly. It wasn't necessarily that long ago since we actually battled, and I love it with that in mind. So, uh, I'm also a pretty darn good reason why, and my god, I do. We brought really, really strange team here, or not strange, they're really viable, but you know, considering how the metal looks like, it's really fun going up against the likes of Jack due to. We're actually pushing the boundaries of both of us trying to do something else and try to still do well with them, because we're clearly competent enough to do that. That's kind of our niche. We're not bad at all. Um. <laughs> anyway, look at the two opponents team here. We are going to see Bronze Song, Thunder's T, Tradeely, Blastoise, Hexers, and of course a little Marowak. So, straight on it, Thunder's is awesome. I really don't want to deal with that Pokemon whatsoever. I myself is using a Burnout Moltres. Yes. For those who know, Burnout actually takes away your fire typing, so I really want to utilize Moltres more. Really like that Pokemon overall. Uh, then we of course have Malamar, Nido King, my own Mega Blastoise, Fear Alligator, and Neracross. So from the get-go, one gets to feel that no three Pokemon weak to electric and only one immunity, that's that's not bright, and I'll agree, that's that's kinda bad. Now <laughs> with that said, I really didn't necessarily know what he wanted to lead off with, but I knew that I could start off with Moltres kinda safely and pretty much deal with situations from there. So really with all that said. Let's go. So I'm kind of lucky here that he starts with Bronzong. And the reason I'm starting off with Moltres is because if he would start off with Bronzong, I at least get it in before it set up Rock. So that was my initial thought. So I'm just going to go directly for Burnout. Now, I am not invested in special attack whatsoever. I am a fully HP Moltres with pretty much max speed, I do believe. So it's not the most viable kind of Moltres, but I really want to utilize a more bulkier flame body version. So he's gonna go directly to Scortacular, which is a female. Yeah, I said it like that was a bad thing. Uh, a female black male Blastoise. So I was like going for Air Slash here because since I went for Burnout, I'm not necessarily fearing the damage I put here since, as stated, I am a bulky person. Now since he got a light screen up, I kind of want to stall out the light screen because I do have a Grassy MC to be able to, of course, get my. Um, to be able to KO him, but I can only KO him if the light screen is away. So with that in mind, I'm gonna decide to go for Roost here. I'm basically scouting the damage here and what he can do. Luckily, he does go for Nice Beam, and we're gonna soak that due to actually, well, we're not flying anymore. Sadly, due to me not being a fire type, means that it's now not as it could be a potential super effective hit. As he goes for another Ice Beam, and uh, he'll freeze me. And quite honestly, it's still floating. How? Is a firebird frozen? I'm sorry, I have no idea. But with that in mind, I am a flame body. I am a flame body. What is going on? Anyway, uh, he's gonna switch out to Raiden. I'm going to win with Divine Malamar. I'm, I do not fear this Pokemon whatsoever since I am a salt vested Malamar, not the scoff version. So I do believe I just go for Rock Slide here. Wanted to go for super effective damage. That was dumb. But what's still more dumb is that I still don't go for a superpower next turn. I go for a knockoff. Superpower would have actually taken him out, and I would have gotten the boost. I needed that boost, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so anyway, knocking off the light clay. Uh, so light screen wears off. That's great, as he's so Shoka, his Leo. And here's basically what I was telling you why he was so important when for Superpower. Because he's gonna go for Dragon Dance, and I was feeling here is, you know, shit, right? This is, this is gonna be awesome. I do not want to deal with this whatsoever. So as I go for the Superpower, I do close to have it. I don't think another superpower should kill him. Well, he has a C move. Lucky for me though, it is the poison variant, so I will be able to actually manage to take this. Which is kinda cool. And I actually go for another superpower. So at this point, I do not kill him, which is great. Just I was really sure I was gonna kill him. Anyway, due to that in mind, I'm actually pretty sure I can take a Dragon Claw, since of course I'm plus two. Well, I'm not. I'm not able to. Uh, I, oh, just, just, just my luck. So anyway, I'm gonna bring Extrail here, and I actually have a physical Nidoking. King. So I'm gonna go for Sucker Punch. Actually, just knocking this thing out, which is awesome. I really needed that. I definitely felt like this could turn ugly had I not been able to pull that off. As here comes Mega Blastoise again. 
and I'm still frozen Moltres, and I really don't want to switch into a Skull, I really don't want to switch into anything. So I'm going to send in my own Mega Blastoise, which is, this version is definitely an offensive Mega Blastoise with some special defense and no speed. And, or I think it's like 20 or something like that, the speed is definitely not on dangerous level. Well, it's dangerous enough to beat with Jack's Mega Blastoise when it comes to the speed here. And due to me pegging or Svea, I do believe I was feeling that I wouldn't want to go for Dark Pulse. I do believe I had something that could take that. And I get a critical hit. Which is great, because that pretty much seals the fate of, of course, his Mega Blastoise, because now he's not able to take another hit. So he's gonna switch out. I still do believe I go for a, a Nora Sphere here. And um, as you guys can see, that's that's not doing anything now, does it? And I do not want to actually kill my Blastoise just yet, or I don't want to sack it. Or I wouldn't want to offer him to the higher genie. So feeling that the Hidden Power or Thunderbolt could be an option here, um, or hit him for ice, that is. I decided to go into my, of course, Zero Cross, and since I'm Scarfed, I'm able to actually go for a knockoff freely here, as he goes to Marowak, who gets whacked for real. Now, I should say this, critical hit did matter, but he would not have been able to take two of those, as I get, of course, in Moxie. Now, while that's fine and dandy, Tradily is definitely a Pokemon that can take a knockout from me and just stole me out with Toxic. I do not want to do that. So I'm gonna bring Scorch, thinking that's my golden opportunity. Since Toxic is still available. As I'm gonna go for Burnout here, point myself out. I should be noted, I have no idea how it's floating Frozen. I have no idea. Now, Burnout does so much damage, but it definitely isn't enough. And the worst part about this is that. Now my Bloom Doom is not able to kill him, I need more damage. And since Burnout only works once, which was something I didn't know from this battle until we actually started, I'm going to be forcing myself to go and air slash over a possible flinch. That did not transpire, he goes to Stealth Rocks though, and I feel that this is probably my only chance of actually trying to kill him. This is because he's gonna go for recover next time, there is no way around it. So with that in mind, let's set the Bloom Doom in motion and uh, yeah, let's just say it's a KO. Boom. That's... <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Cradle Lee. I'm sorry, buddy. So anyway, Rain is gonna come in. So I should say, at this point, it's pretty much wrapped. There is no way in hell uh, any of his Pokemon could be able to actually deal with my uh, Hero Cross at this point. And I am so happy about Moltres. And I can pretty much just wrap the game up with, like I said, Hero Cross. I could wrap it up with Nido King too. Uh, do the Sucker Punch, but... I really, really want to use Zero Cross. That thing being RU, my god, such a beast. But yeah, on a complete opposite side, I don't know, being completely frank here, I am a bit lucky this game. I mean, my Moltres is so nishy, and it clearly paid off and threw um, Jack off a little bit, but at the same time, I, I do believe I get two pretty massive crits, one of them being, of course, against his own Blastoise and pretty much eradicating it, and I think that really, really transpired for my win. While I did have some control over the game, I also know that those crits is definitely enforced uh, Jack to play a, a bit more different than he might actually been wanting to, and eventually I just win the game because of those kind of crits in, this, in the middle of the game, actually. So yeah, with that said, guys, as I stated before the match, make sure to check out Jack's channel, if anything. He's one of those battlers that just are it's so clear that he's having a great time, and for what it's worth, that's kind of what you want when you're watching Wi-Fi battles. I don't want to watch the pro, I want to watch the guy who tries to be a pro, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jack. I mean, this game, this battle was not as nail-binding. Jack usually tend to win against me, and I think this was a bit out of outside of his element, and it was mainly because Moltres threw him off a little bit, uh, Physical Nido King threw him off a little bit, and the crits in the middle of the game, I stated, threw him off a little bit, and... Uh, he never really recovered from that, and I played rather safely from there on. Uh, with that said, I don't believe this is a battle that you know showcases who is better between us two. Uh, I think we're pretty even, but as I say, that Jack tends to win more often than I, and for very good reason. He's much much better at keeping his cool than I am. But yeah, I said it, guys. Make sure to check him out. And uh, as always, of course, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you, of course, in tomorrow when I upload my TBU games which is a real nail biter this time around, I'm not gonna joke about that. But anyway guys, of course, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, of course, take care. Bye!